Welcome to story time. Today's story features blood, sweat, and tears. You're gonna wanna hear it. Hey everyone, due to the world's current events, it's been extremely difficult to make comedy sketches, but that doesn't mean to stop using my brain. So today we start a new series called Storytime, where I tell you some of my craziest, funniest, saddest stories of all time. But don't worry, I'll still be making comedy sketches when I can. And as you know, I've been making videos for years now. And one thing that I'm really known for, besides Juan, is my scream. That was hard to hear, but it was impressive nonetheless. And I've been told by many that my scream is like a thousand goats preparing for battle. I'm not sure if that's a compliment, but I'll take it. One person that has always hated my scream and has always told me, David, it's going to bring trouble to you one day, is my wife. Well, she was right. That was the first time I screamed. It was the day I was born. I don't remember it, but what I do know is there was lots of screaming going on in that delivery room. Now fast forward. Too far, too far! That's much better. Okay, so let me tell you the story. This all started on a Saturday when we decided to make a video for a company that I was working with called Mas Mejor. Now I've been working with them for a few months now and I made some videos for them, but this one was a little outrageous to say the least. At the time I watched this YouTube video on this magic trick that I thought would be hilarious to remake into a skit. So the idea was that this dude was stabbing his hand, right? And then as he lifted his hand, he had the card from the deck that the audience member picked. And I thought that would be so funny if I made a sketch where I was this magician at this kid's birthday party. I know my mind is super dark sometimes, I'm sorry. But the joke was that I'm stabbing my hand and I get the card wrong. So I got this blood dripping down my hand and everything. And I'm screaming every time I stab it. I'm just like, <laughs> it, it gets really, really bad and really crazy. Over the top screaming. So let's go back to my screams. <laughs> I didn't want to, as a magician at this birthday party, I didn't want to stop. I wanted to get the card right. So that was a joke. So it was a really extreme over the top video. So I'm telling you, I'm just stabbing myself. We even have shots of blood squirting on these kids' faces. Oh! Who did it? Oh! Oh, there it is! Oh! 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 A little backstory to my neighborhood at the time. Okay, I moved into that house about a few months earlier and my, I met my neighbors and they were like, hey David, nice to meet you. All of them were old for some reason. I don't know why, I guess I lived in an old neighborhood. The first day that I like, moved in, they came and said hi and they're like, hey, can we have $3,000 to fix the roads? What, I just moved in, I just moved in. Apparently everybody was pitching in to fix the road, but I politely ended up saying, no, I'm not gonna give you any money. And it was so dumb, because they sent an email to everyone in the neighborhood. They're like, the only people that did not give us money was David Lopez at this address and then this other person at this address. And I was like, are you kidding me? So that's the backstory. My neighbors already don't like me, which whatever, I don't care, I didn't care. So now we go back to the Saturday afternoon when I'm in the garage and I'm stabbing the heck out of my hand. And the kids, there's blood everywhere. Blood on the kids, blood on me, blood on the camera, blood on the table, I'm telling you. And I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. These screams are horrible. They really do sound like someone's dying. Like I said, my scream is like that of a thousand goats preparing for battle. And then all of a sudden, after I'm all bloody, right? Just gross, sweaty, bloody. I start walking out of my garage and I see this dude like at the bottom of the hill with a rifle pointed at, like the rifle, I don't know if it was pointed at me. Honestly, it might have not been pointed at me, but it was pointed towards me, all right? So yes, it was scary. And then we look to the right and to the left and there's this SWAT team like 
crawling up my hill with their rifles and vests and they're looking at us and I'm, I'm sitting there with blood all over me. There's blood, fake blood everywhere. There's kids like in the background with blood and then and it was just like, this is it. The end has come. I mean, I don't know why they didn't just say, get down, you know, it was crazy. And I'm just like, I kind of just like put my hands up. Like I was like, okay, I don't know what to do right now. Like I'm about to get attacked by these dudes. We literally, I think what saved us is that my cameraman came out with this camera. Then they, I think they started to put two and two together that we were actually recording someone dying and we killed it live. No, that's not what happened. We didn't record anyone dying. I think they put it together that it was a video. So they come up and they're like, hey, what are you guys doing? I'm like, what are you doing? You walking up my hill with guns and vests? Like what? You're scaring the heck out of me. And look at these kids full of blood. You're scaring the heck out of them too. Um, anyways, we were just like, oh, we're making a video. It's a comedy sketch. You know, I do videos on YouTube. You know, follow me on David Lopez Films. <laughs> I had to throw that in there for them, you know, so they can like at least get some views for everything I just went through. But you know, they were really nice and I'm pretty sure one of them was already following me, which is kind of cool. Um, I think they're like, yeah, I watched the video. So they told me that one of my neighbors called and said that at my residence, someone was being murdered. They literally thought someone was being killed at my residence. And they said these exact words. So the cop was like, yeah, they said that somebody was screaming, you're never gonna take me alive. You're never gonna take me alive. Somebody help me, somebody help me. And I was like, I didn't even say that. I was just regular screaming. And it was just crazy because I was full of blood. So it kind of made sense when they came up like that they were going, like they was just the end, but it didn't. And they liked me, we had a laugh. And we're like, okay, uh, put your guns away in your vest and, and leave us alone. My wife was actually not happy because she warned me about my scream and she was right. So T, you were right. And that's the story of when I had a SWAT team called on me. Oh, come on, it's not like, 